Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bikes, and today I'm going to share with you some e-bike maintenance tips and some e-bike tips that are going to make your e-bike a better bike to ride every day just the way we do. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the rear hub wheel from your bike. Now, if you don't know how to do that, please watch my past videos on removing a rear hub motor from your bike. There's several videos I have on how to do that. It's pretty simple. Once you've disconnected your wires, taken off the wheel, make sure that all this is aside. On your, on your wire side, this is where we're going to take the um, kit apart. So we're going to first remove this gasket, which is a gasket for your disc brake. And get rid of that. And then what I'm doing to make this very easy, it comes off very easily, is to take this nut and we're going to put it in the um, in the screwdriver and the drill and go ahead and start removing these nuts. Now I've already done this on all of these. This took about less than 30 seconds. They come out very easily. I'm removing them all. You want to make sure that you don't lose them. And then what I've also done in advance is pried this up a little bit so that it's free, but I'll show you what I did. I basically came in with a screwdriver, a big screwdriver, on one side and a crowbar on the other and just slightly wedged up both sides. What we're trying to do is get over this hub here. So now, once you get it to a certain point, and you'll see, it's about probably an eighth of an inch free now. I'm going to have to come in with a rubber mallet and start pounding on the axle. Uh, the great thing about this particular hub is that the wires are coming out the side. Sometimes they're drilled out, bored out here. So you really have to remove the wires to actually pound on this. But the vibration of the mallet will push this out and this will pop off. And of course what we're looking for is we want to look for any, any wear on the phase wires and any wear on the sensor wires. I do this about once a year. It's kind of an annual check just to make sure that there's no dirt and grime, that the wires are all connected, nothing's burnt out. There was no particular problem, but I just want to double check. So that's what we're doing today. And really the best way to work with a wheel is I've got it secured to a vise here with a rag around the um, axle so that it doesn't do any damage to the metal. It's pretty secure, but it's good enough for me to work with, pry this plate off, and then we're going to put it on the floor and start working with the mallet. But yeah, you want to have a secure working space when you're doing this because it's a pretty heavy motor. It'll get around, and if you try to do it on the floor or on the table, it'll just jiggle based on the axle. So anyway, find a table vise or some place that you can secure it. That's going to be a lot easier for you. So that it's out of the way, removed from the axle. Because what we're going to do now, this, this axle is very tight, so we're going to pound with a rubber mallet as it starts to come out. It's secure on the other side, so we'll just keep pounding, and this will, so you can see it coming out here. We'll come back in with a screwdriver, or a crowbar, or something that's strong. And what you don't want to do is, is dig it in too deep, because you've got your carp, copper wiring here, so you want to So for the final step, what you're going to need is one of these, which is a gear puller. They come in uh, two or three arms. They're adjustable. This is an 8-inch uh, puller. Uh, you can buy them. They're, they can be as expensive as $30, $40, $50, up to $100. I bought this at an automotive um, store for $9, and it does the trick. It's just two arms. And the problem is that this torque of this last part is very stiff. So after we've done some prying, hitting it with the rubber mallet, um, we're going to have to just torque it a little bit. I put a little bit of Teflon oil down here along the bearing. And then we just give it a few, a few strokes and it should come right off. So we'll just torque it. I'm just using a crescent wrench. You can use any kind of wrench you'd like. And what it does is it pushes down the axle and pulls up the, uh, the lid. So I can already feel it. You can see that? It's already beginning to come off, and I think 
I might have done it. Almost there. Almost there. Just a few more. And this should come right off. Nice and smooth without any harm to the uh, motor. Got it? Almost got it. Almost got it. I'm actually going to just hand torque at this point. You see how that's just lifting it right off? Should almost do it there. There it is. Okay. So what we've got here, zip tied here. Give that a little, a little space. So we'll need to pull that over here to actually get that off. It's a little snug with the wire, but there we go. It's coming. And up she goes, and off it goes. There we go. There it is. So what we're looking for is, we're looking for our three phase wires, and these are our sensor wires. We want to make sure that everything's nice and tight, so going in there, I'm looking at this, and this is really solid. All of these are really solid. This is zip-tied. These guys are soldered correctly. There's absolutely no loose fittings. That's really important. You want to make sure that everything's nice and tight in there. And then you want to go around and make sure that the copper bindings are nice and tight. There's a few loose wires. You just push them back. And then what I'm going to do is come in here and just clean it off because it doesn't look like there's any kind of repair work that needs to be done at this point. Now some people will put a higher gauge wire for their phase wires, giving a little more electrical current, uh, but that's a whole project and if you want to do that, that's fine. But you got to make sure that they're going to fit through the axle, through here, back into your motor. But there's no reason for me to do that. Everything's working fine. Again, this is just an annual checkup to make sure that the hub motor is in good condition. So literally, to put that back on, the top back on, once this is clean, want to make sure everything's working, there's nothing loose, um, you're good to go.